Hi guys, welcome to a HeadX channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to use Space V3D ground control software. The first thing you need to do in order to get started is ensure that you have your flight controller powered on. Your data link installed both on your PC and on your flight controller. Once all the things are installed, you can hit the HeadX icon. Here are three icons representing three functions remote control, search drones, and lock record. Click search drones. It will automatically search for drones and synchronize parameters. The left part represents your drones type, and the right part is some information about this flight controller. Then we enter it. Now we are in space interface. You'll see some icons on the upper left corner. The icons are System Setting, Function Setting, User Login and Field Option. The System Setting allows you to set some flight parameters and check some plugins that you need to use. You can set values for setting like Display Unit, Font Size and many more. The Function Setting allows you to click some Functions panel that you need, such as Remote Controller panel, flight controller information, etc. The user login panel, you have to log in when you use the remote control function. This part in the middle shows the status of your drone at the moment. On the right side is a head-up indicator showing some of the important flight information. This part is the key information panel. It is used to monitor the drones such as throttle, battery, GPS, airspeed, etc. I right-click here in Configuration. You can select the items you want to show in this area. In this corner, there are six status icons. Data Link State Icon, 4G Data Link State Icon, Xbox and Xbox Controller Status, Internet RTK, RDK Base and Grax Status. Cracks is used for precision landing or moving landing. These four icons on the left are the four main steps before takeoff. There are polygon management, mission route editing, landing route editing, and pre flight checklist. This is the flight command panel, which means that the drone will perform corresponding actions takeoff, route mode, home point. Hovering, circling, and land. The red button is Hold Mode Command, which means it will cut off the throttle when you hit it. You need to click it 4 times a second in case of a special emergency. This red button, Emergency Landing, is also used in some emergency occasions. Okay, that's a brief introduction of Space V3D. Thanks for watching, see you next video.